Hi guys, so um, we are doing the interior now on the 330, the E46 330. I'm so sorry, I started without you guys and completely forgot the camera. So I was just in my own mind, just doing my thing. So completely forgot the camera, I'm so sorry. But here we are, I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, get those stains out of the trunk, even though, I mean, people, don't really seem to care about that, but uh, I'm going to also here clean this up, vacuum it out, make sure that it's all cleaned. Ooh, a little bit on the inside. So we're just gonna kind of get all the tools out of here and uh, get the car ready for pictures. So believe it or not, these seats are stellar compared to the way that the car came in. Dude, they were so dirty. It was disgusting. Gerald and I worked our tails off to make sure that the seats were the actual color that they're supposed to be. Oh my gosh. This car has been a long process. But now that it's coming to an end, it's turning out to be one of the most uh, show-stopping E46s that I have had. The paint's perfect. The rims are okay. They're pretty nice. Has fantastic tires, fantastic brakes. Everything's been serviced. Um, there's not really anything for anyone to gripe about. <clears throat> we did a racing water pump. Um, it has the Corsa exhaust. We tinted the taillights. We tinted the windows. We tinted the sunroof. We blacked out the grill. Z grills. We've done so much to this car in our reconditioning process. Spark plugs, uh, valve cover gasket, um, oil filter housing gasket, the expansion tank, thermostat, the upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, we've done so much. The only thing that I didn't do to this car because it didn't need it was put the um, polyurethane uh, control arm bushings and engine mounts. Actually, I do have the engine mounts. I could do that, but we'll see. We'll see how where we're at. I love the way that this is looking right now. It's brilliant. I'm sorry I started without you guys. Put you on the Jaguar again. Thanks, kitten. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and start on the leather. And for that, I have this BMW Leather Lotion. It's UVA, UVB um, protection, and then also it helps the leather retain its natural smell. Um, it's natural BMW smell, I should say. So I actually really like this one a lot. Um, I used it on the leather dash on my uh, CL and I never had any sort of um, fade. More or less what it says is that it cleanses, protects, and um, keeps the leather uh, smelling your, like your typical BMW, but also it, it protects the dashes and anything else that's leather from UVA UVB. UVA UVB isn't healthy for skin and that's all that leather really is is just skin so we got to do whatever we can to um, protect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and then we're gonna let it sit. We'll wipe it clean, we'll buff it clean, uh, or we'll buff the extra excess off. All right, so we have it all applied. Um, actually, you can tell the leather is soaking it up. I might have to do another coat, as a matter of fact. This leather has obviously been um, quite abused. Um, it was dry, it was thirsty. I'm gonna let it sit here for a few minutes. 
excuse me, I'm gonna let it sit here for a few minutes and then I'll go ahead and take a uh, microfiber cloth over some of the more porous parts of the leather, so that's where the finish is releasing. And then we'll see exactly how it's, um, how the leather is, is feeling at that point. I might have to do another coat, I haven't decided. So it's important, one of the things to note with this um, treatment, you can't just wipe it and go because there's almost like a waxy uh, substance to it if you, if you don't uh, go back and buff the, uh, the residual off. So what um, I do, like I said, I just get a microfiber cloth and I just lightly um, wipe it away and then I go and wash my hands because of course I have oil on my hands. Um, and I come back about 15 minutes later and I feel the leather to see exactly how um, rejuvenated it is. Um, sometimes if you catch it, if you catch it before you, before it just kind of crosses the, um, the, the no way back barrier, then you are good to go. It, it's like new, but sometimes um, you catch it and but after it's already dried up and all those fibers are already crazy dry. Hopefully we caught it before, um, before there, there's a uh, no going back. I'm actually l really looking forward to this car being done because it's been in my inventory for a good while. Um, I've been plugging away at it as, as I can. And then I just had, I moved my business. I wasn't able to really focus on the car. And now that I, I am able to do that, I think that this car is going to be one of the biggest turnarounds. going to it's gonna really shine. And I will do my best to find photos of when I first got the car in inventory um, and post those along with um, some of our reconditioning um, video, uh, plural videos, because it's a big difference and this car deserves it. And it deserves a good home. At any rate, let's go ahead and finish this up and then um, I can go, I can wipe it all down now. It's been a few minutes and we will move forward with our reconditioning. All right guys, so here we are. We are all done. So we did that door panel. We did the shifter surround. We did the emergency or the parking brake surround boot, I guess. We did this seat. We did this seat. We did that panel, we did the steering wheel, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear seats right now. Um, you guys don't have to be present for that. That's just boring. That's it, we are all done. Let's go over here, let's see. It soaked up the um, conditioner very well, actually, and the leather came back to life. I'm not sure that I need to do another another coat. I'll wait until uh, maybe Monday and see. So there we are, all done with the interior. We are waiting for the air box to come in, but the next video is going to be what to look for, what to look for on E46s when you're out shopping because there's a few things to be very aware of because it can cost you a pretty penny if there's a there's just a few little things so we will go over that and um, I will be right back 